Welcome back to American Morning. A patient was recently given less than a month to live and is now getting discharged from the hospital in Sweden. He was dying from trachea cancer, but doctors were able to replace his windpipe with an artificial one, but it was grown from the man's own cells. Amazing. Senior medical correspondent Elizabeth Cohen is here to explain what this means. Elizabeth, exactly what did doctors do for this man? All right, well, this man was 36 years old, and he had this huge growth on his trachea. The growth was so big that they really couldn't operate on it successfully and they said to him, we've done everything we can for you. You need a trachea from a cadaver. But we all know that the waiting list for those organs is so long and so they said you will die before you get one from a cadaver. So this team from Harvard and from London and from Sweden, they got together and they made him a trachea out of plastic. It's a plastic trachea. And then what they did is they coated it with his own stem cells. Because if they just put it in as plastic, it wouldn't have worked. His body wouldn't have recognized it as being a real org a real piece of himself. But the, his body thought that the trachea was his, and his arteries and veins started growing in and out of it. It completely, as doctors say, vascularized. So now this man has been discharged from the hospital. And as we said before, they thought he would be dead by now. It's amazing. So can he, uh, can this be used for everyone who has that type of late stage trachea cancer and is waiting for a, a cadaver? You know, I talked to one of the doctors who was involved in this project, and he said that is exactly our hope. We really want that to happen. And by the way, that's the tumor. See the green on there? Mm -hmm. That was the tumor on his trachea. So you can see how big it is uh, compared to everything else. I mean, that was a big tumor. And so the hope is that people with these tumors will be able to get these plastic tracheas. So they're going to watch this man, see how he does, and then they're just now they're starting a study with another 20 or so trachea cancer patients, and they're really hoping hoping that it works well, but they have to study it some more first. I, Elizabeth, I think it's important to point out here that long list for waiting for organs from cadavers. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is still a long list and everyone should talk to their family about becoming an organ mm -hmm. donor, quite frankly, Absolutely. but does this mean the scientists can now just create these organs in the lab or the hope is that <clears throat> they can augment those very, very long lists? Right, exactly, because people are dying every day waiting for a kidney or for a liver or for a heart. And as you said, sign your organ donor card because, no, they can't create these in the lab. They did create this trachea. You know, they made the plastic trachea and then coated it with his stem cells. But a trachea is really a very simple thing. I mean, it's basically, you know, a, a tube, really. A heart is something that is much more complex. And so creating a heart out of plastic and coating it with stem cells, that won't quite work. So they're hoping that this work is a baby step towards, you know, doing it for other uh, parts of the body. But really, that will take a much, much longer time. Still is quite remarkable, though. Amazing. It is.